Diane Primavera, everybody. Thank you to our Lieutenant Governor, to the team. Tonight, we've proven once again what a special place Colorado is, a place where we truly value decency and hard work, where we fight for our freedoms and we strive to ensure that every single person has the opportunity to succeed and get ahead. Truly, a Colorado for all, where there is room and a place for everybody to be themselves. I'd like to thank uh, my opponents, Heidi Ganahl, Daniel Neuschwanger, all of the candidates who fought hard, fought races, and brought forward their ideas. Now we must all come together to move Colorado forward. I'm so deeply honored that the people of Colorado have chosen to share in my belief that Colorado's best days are still ahead. As we plan for what's next, we draw from the lessons that got us to this outcome tonight. The fact is we did something simple. We focused on issues that really affect people's lives and we delivered real results. We focused on lowering costs and more freedom. We led with rational data-driven COVID policies that supported personal freedom and responsibility and resulted in Colorado having the ninth lowest COVID death rate in the entire nation. We created free full day kindergarten and universal preschool, which launches next fall. Not only, not only important for every child, regardless of their background or where they live or who they are to get a strong start, but it also saves families $5,000 a year. And that's what folks need right now. We got major commitments on getting to 80% renewable energy by 2030, and we're on track for 100% renewable energy by 2040 in the great state of Colorado. We delivered on the largest property tax cut for homeowners and businesses in the history of Colorado and two ta cuts to the state income tax. And we've also ended state taxes on social security income, ended sales tax on diapers, and we did a lot more to save people money. In fact, for my state of the state address, I sang 50 ways to save you money with credit to Paul Simon. We delivered over 100 ways to save you money and we are hard at work to get even more done soon. And in many ways, most importantly, we've protected people's freedom, something we celebrate in Colorado. Free to love who you love, free to decide your own family's future in our amazing great state of Colorado and a Colorado for all. Because in Colorado, we offer something truly special. The idea that your choices belong to you and no one else. Our solutions are never based on whether they come from the left or the right or the middle or up or down, but whether they solve problems and make life better for Coloradans. And we celebrate good ideas from all perspectives to save people money and make our state an even more amazing place. I think about Carissa from Commerce City, who can finally stop rationing her life-saving medication because of Colorado's historic cap on the cost of out-of-pocket insulin. Yeah. Or Julie and Erin, like so many parents, who are saving thousands of dollars a year thanks to free full-day kindergarten for every child. Or Giles, a small business owner who was able to thrive with the help of small business tax cuts and support and a strong business environment. Colorado, we've shown what progress looks like when we work together in a way that's practical and data-driven. And we've proven that saving people money and protecting our freedom is a great way to bring people together across our state and across our nation. And to me, that's what leadership is all about. It has been the honor of my life to have served as your governor for the last four years, and it will be my honor to continue serving as your governor for the next four years. And, and whether you voted for me or not, I will work as hard as I possibly can on behalf of you and your family, and I'll never stop fighting for a better future for the state that I love. And you can always rest assured that I will always do what's right for Colorado.
And we know that we have more challenges ahead, and we're going to work together to face them. We're going to use every tool that we have to save people money on education, community college and college, health care, housing. We need more affordable opportunities to live near where jobs are for purchase and for rent so that your hard work creates the opportunity to build an even greater life for you and your family in our state because we are the best state to live, to work, to raise a family and retire. And we're going to work hard every day to make Colorado an even more amazing place. We're going to continue to make our communities safer by investing in law enforcement and preventing crime before it happens. We're going to continue to aggressively tackle clean air and climate change, preparing for drought and wildfires while creating good paying jobs and making Colorado a safer place for everyone. As we take on this work, I couldn't ask for a better partner than our Lieutenant Governor, Diane Primavera. But we also wouldn't be here today without a strong grassroots team. Some of you are in the room, some of you are still out uh, at polls. And I want to thank everyone across the state who knocked on doors for us, who made phone calls, who shared your ideas at meet and greets. I was in Pueblo this morning and then Colorado Springs. Great reception. And I also owe a huge thanks to the members of my cabinet and our amazing staff, many of whom are here from the Capitol office and the campaign. Let's give our team a great round of applause. And there are so many staff members who've done such great work, but I want to give a particular shout out to my incredible, talented chief of staff, Lisa Kaufman. <laughs> Made so many contributions over the years. I'm honestly not sure where she sleeps, uh, and I wouldn't be where I am today without you, Lisa. Thank you. I also want to thank Jen Ritter, who managed my historic campaign in 2018, stepped in this spring uh, when my campaign manager had a baby boy. And I also give it up for Sarah Andrews, who managed my campaign this cycle. It's hard, Sarah, to, to, for me to be in a campaign and run the state, and you made that possible by running the campaign. Thank you for your great work. And of course, I want to thank my family. My parents, my sister and brother, our amazing kids, and Colorado is so fortunate to have our wonderful, for our wonderful first gentleman, Marlon Reese. <laughs> Colorado, your trust in me means more than I can even possibly put into words. No matter what party you belong to, no matter who you voted for, or if you didn't even vote at all, know that I'll always fight for you, and I will always do what's right for Colorado. I believe to my core that Colorado's and America's best days are still ahead. And I can't wait to work with all the wonderful people across our state to build a brighter future for Colorado that we can be even more proud of. Thank you. God bless the great state of Colorado, and God bless America. Yeah.